class. Today we're going to be looking at solving systems of linear equations in three variables. So this is going to be pretty new for a lot of you. Um, so a three variable equation is something that has an X, a Y, and a Z in it. And when you graph that, you end up with a plane instead of just a line. So it makes it three dimensional instead of two dimensional. And there's a lot of different ways we can see five different ways here where planes can either intersect or not intersect each other. Um, and in when we're doing this, we're going to focus on just this one here. So we're going to do systems of equations where the planes cross at a point. So our solution is going to be a point X, Y, Z. Um, and, and we're just kind of focused. That's kind of the the simplest version of, of three planes here. But there are other options if you decide to go farther in math. They look pretty cool. All right, so the first problem we're gonna do is just kind of talk about what it means for an ordered triple or a point X, Y, Z uh, to be a solution to a system of three equations with three variables. So what we wanna do is plug, oops, whoops. We want to plug the x, y, z into each equation and just show that it works. So we can label these. You don't really have to label these, but it's kind of nice sometimes. So equation A, I have x plus 2y minus 3z equals 9. So my x is negative 1, plugging it in from here, uh, plus 2 times y is 2 minus three times z is negative two, and I wanna see if this equals nine, question mark. <laughs> so negative one plus four minus, oops, not minus three, negative three times negative two is a positive six, and negative one plus four plus six is definitely nine, so that works. Then we look at equation B, we have two times x minus y plus two times z, equals negative eight. So we're gonna see if this worked, negative two minus two minus four does equal negative eight. So that checks out. And the last one, negative x is negative one, plus three times y is two, minus four times z is negative two. I wanna see if that equals 15. So we have positive one plus six plus eight is definitely 15. So I've shown work showing that this ordered triple is a solution to this system of three equations with three variables. So it means that that point is on each one of those three planes and that's why they intersect. So you can come and kind of go back up to this picture and see what that means. All right, so moving on, uh, solving system, so finding the solution, uh, we are going to, instead of doing this by hand, we're actually gonna use a, de a matrix calculator. So what you'll wanna do is open up a new tab and use your, your search uh, to search Desmos matrix calculator. There's a lot of matrix calculators out there, but I really like the simplicity of the, the Desmos beta version. Uh, so here's our matrix calculator, and I'll kind of explain to you how this is gonna work. Uh, so we're going to have two different matrices here. We're going to have a matrix A and we're going to have a matrix B. And we're going to use this part as our A and this part as our B. So I want you to write it out separately. Don't just box the problem, but write it out separately. And we're going to use just the numbers, so not the letters X, Y, Z, but just the coefficients of those as we go across. So A matrix is going to be 5, negative 2, negative 4, 3, 3, and 2, negative 2, 5, and 3. And then our B matrix is going to be 3, negative 3, and 3. And then to solve to solve for x, y, and z, we have to calculate a inverse b. And all the things I'm writing here is, since there's not a whole lot of work to do when we use a matrix calculator, I want you to be labeling these matrices a and b, writing them out, and I wanna see a inverse b, this part here. I wanna see this written out on your papers. All right, so now we go to the matrix calculator and we're gonna type those in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the new matrix button, and if you look at matrix A, it was three across and three down. So it's a three by three matrix and I'm gonna add it in. Now we're gonna type the numbers across. So we had uh, the number five, 
And you can just use the arrow key to get to the next spot, negative two and negative four, and then three, three and two, negative two, five and three. So if I were you, oh, and then you can press enter and it'll just enter that in. Um, I would suggest pausing the video now, opening up a matrix calculator and trying to make sure you understand how to make that matrix happen. All right, now let's do another new matrix. If we look at matrix B here, it has three rows and only one column. So three rows and only one column as matrix B. And we're gonna type in our three, negative three and three and hit enter. So now I have matrix A, I have matrix B is entered in. And then to solve for our X, Y, and Z, the solution of this system, we want to type in A and then hit this A inverse button here. So this little A and then the negative one exponent gives me the inverse of A and then B and enter and there's a solution. So the top here is X, the middle one is the Y and the bottom one is Z. So now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna write it out as a matrix and then we're gonna write it as a point. So there's, there's not a whole lot of work, but the work I want you to show looks just like this. So negative one, two, negative three. And then, so the solution to this system is the point negative one, two, negative three. And that's what we have. So that's how to solve a system of three equations with a matrix calculator. If we were to do this by hand, it would take an entire page and about 20 minutes. So yay for technology. Okay, uh, let's do another one. So let's just keep practicing. So B, I'm gonna make, remember my A matrix is gonna be this part and my B matrix is gonna be this part. So A equals, and I want you to write it out, one, four, negative one, three, two, one, two, negative three, two. And then B is 28 and negative 16. And then A inverse B equals, and then we need to use our calculator. So let's go back to matrix and I can clear it out so that it's all ready. And new matrix, again, I want a three by three for my A. And I have a one, four, negative one, three, two, one, two, negative three, and two. And then a new matrix three by one for B. I have 28 and negative 16. Then we do, I know I'm going a little fast here, don't want the video to be too long, uh, A and then the inverse button and B and enter. And there is our answer, one, four, negative three. So we write in one, four, negative three, and then we write our solution one comma four comma negative three as a point, because it is a point that the, where the three planes intersect. All right, last one, you can cross out example four that, we're on, that was on your notes, we're not gonna worry about that one. So the last matrix we're gonna do here is problem C. Uh, my A matrix is a little different this time, because if you notice in the first equation, we are missing the y value. So we're gonna to have to put a zero in where the y was. So one for x, zero for y, and one for z. One, one, two, one, two, one for the third equation. Our B matrix is eight, 17, 16. So if you're missing a value, we're just gonna put it in as a zero in our matrix where that should have been. All right, so let's type this in. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna clear it out. New matrix. Three by three for A. And I have a one, zero, one. One, one, two, one, two, one. All right, and then new matrix for B. Three by one matrix. Eight, 17, and 16. And then A inverse B, enter. My answer is three, four, five. What a nice little answer. So I'm gonna write it in three, four, five, and then I, oops, not like that. We always use square brackets for matrices. 
and then I'm going to write 3 comma 4 comma 5 and box it as a coordinate point. So that is the amount of work that I would require that you show at the very least. All right, and that's it for solving systems of three equations using matrices.